Hi, this is Professor Nelson with the Jewelry Design Department at the Fashion Institute of Technology. Um, this is another tutorial in our series for uh, basic rhino modeling. We're going to be uh, working with uh, an approach, it's never the only approach, an approach to creating a leaf form. Could also be used for creating a heart or basically any other organic shape you wanted. Um, also going to create a stem if time allows. So I'm going to start by drawing my leaf outline. I'm going to use interpolate curve. a lot of you in class when you were drawing, since you draw in the perspective viewport like I've taught you, you draw like this. And then when you turn your view upright, your drawing looks distorted. Uh, please orient your perspective view as straight up and down as you can when you draw. Or you can always control tab into the top view proper. Okay, Either is fine. Um, I tend to work in perspective just because it's easier for me. Um, even to draw, but you can tell by the, the parallax here in your um, grid. Okay, if your grid lines are more or less straight up and down and across, you're more or less in top view. And you don't have to stay here. I like to move it around a little bit, but check there once in a while. Make sure your drawing is not distorted. I'm gonna rebuild. Twenty points, fourth degree curvature. Turn on my points and play with this a little bit. Because I recorded, because uh, I mirrored with history, of course, the other side is going to update automatically for me. And delete that point. Delete that point. I'm going to grab these three points and pull them down. I want more of a point up here at the corner. The way you create a point with control points is to bring the points closer together. If you put th uh, two points on top of each other, you'll actually create a kink. Okay. So by moving these points quite close in, and a quick way to do that, if you're in a situation that you want to do that, is to select three points together and then do a scale around the middle point. And that'll create that kind of pointed effect. Don't need either one of those points. That's not bad. I'm going to rebuild it. Uh, I'll rebuild it at uh, 17. Okay. It's a little long and narrow for what I want to do. So I'll non uniform scale the whole line. I'll do it from the relative point. That's better. This area is a little bulgy for me. Grab those three points, pull them over. Getting there. Pretty good. Uh, turn on my curvature graph. Tidy 
things up a bit.